Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Two Shot here from Two Shot Gaming, and today we're going to show you how to back up your mine Minecraft. God, it's been too many times. We're going to show you how to back up your Fallout 4 game. What we're going to do this is because later on today, maybe in like an hour or two, we're going to show you how to mod your Fallout 4. So, first, what we're going to do is we got to show you how to back it up so you don't mess anything up. It's very, very easy. You gotta know where you install the game. Go to Steam, find out where you install the game at. Alright? That's very important. I'm gonna show you where mine is. If you're on like Windows 10, you go down here, you put my PC. If this don't work, try my computer. You can put in that. Don't just type all that stuff in. You go to my computer. You can go down to files here and bring it up and go to this PC. Go to your local C drive or your game drives or wherever you have it. Mine's, I think, is in my game drives. Then my new Steam library with all the other crap that I have. And you go here. You go to Steam Apps. You go to Common. And yeah, don't rename it, just open it up. So this will show you all the games you have in Steam. Or whatever you have downloaded that you have done. Because I got more games than this, but this is all I got in here. So it looks like wherever you go, this PC, my computer, games, whatever your hard drive or wherever you have it, Steam library, new here, that's how smart I am to name stuff, Steam apps, and then common. So just make sure you find, you'll see all your other games in here. And now you have your Fallout key. The easiest thing to, do, well, there's two ways to do it. The easiest thing how I usually always back up games, just go, um, go to new, Go to folder, call it Fallout 4, because I've done this already, so you just call it Fallout 4, the backup, right? Open it up, nice empty folder, let's go here, go to copy, and then you go to paste. But we're not going to do that, because um, that's going to take forever for me, and I'm not going to show you how to do that. But that's how you do it, and then you have your game backed up, nice and simple, right? The other thing that is pretty cool to do, which I do also, you right click. You can add to archive, add to Fallout 4. You go here, right? I already have a Fallout 4 archive, but you can make it an archive. Make sure you have room war. This is where it comes in handy. Make it a raw folder so it's a bigger folder. If you make it a zip folder, it can't hold enough. It just ain't gonna, it's not going to hold the whole game, because I think a zip folder can only hold like 5 gigs or something like that. It's small. A raw folder can hold a lot more. So hit that, name it, because it won't be named. You know, you can, well, it'll be named the file. So you can leave it like that, actually, yes, I'm sorry. I thought it was already named from before. But it's all named the file for you. So you hit OK, it'll start doing this thing, right? It'll start making that folder for you. I'm going to cancel this, because I don't want that. I already have it down here. So this is what happens, then it's down here, and then if you need it, you open it up, get rid of the ad, and then you have the same exact thing here that you just have. Back it up every time you mod something. I know it's annoying, but back it up every time you mod something. And now that you got this here, you can just go here, and go add to Fallout 4, and it'll rewrite everything for you. If you're happy with the point that you're at now, or you want to make a different one, just when you hit Archiver, don't don't click on it that fast. <laughs> when you hit archiver, change Fallout 4 to like Fallout 4 with um food mod. And that you know, I, I don't know. Just like that's what you wanna name it as, and then you hit OK and you go through it again. And then say you got your Fallout 4 original up to the point in the game where you want it to be like the perfect game. And now you have it added with the Ford mod. You can go back to that save or you can go back to the Fallout save. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I don't think there's nothing else. So hopefully I didn't confuse you. Leave comments below. Check it out. There's going to be a lot of Fallout 4 content on the channel. Peace!